Neo. The Moon as a Gravitational Wave Detector. Gravitational waves are ripples in space time caused by the most violent processes in the universe, such as the explosion of supernovae, the merger of two black holes, or the movement of binary stars. They travel at the speed of light and compress and expand space perpendicularly as they pass. Albert Einstein predicted them in his general theory of relativity, and they were detected for the first time in 2015. It was a great achievement that opened the door to new ways of investigating the universe that bring us closer to the knowledge of its beginnings. To detect these waves, large-scale facilities are used, such as LIGO in the United States or Virgo in Italy. These L-shaped observatories use the interference of two laser beams that travel along their arms, measuring 3 to 4 kilometers long, to detect the waves. When a gravitational wave passes through one of these detectors, the arms change imperceptibly in length, one with respect to the other, causing small changes in the intensity of the light that can be detected and provide information about the passage of the wave. However, gravitational waves oscillate at different frequencies depending on the cosmic phenomena causing them, and current ground-based detectors can only scan frequencies above 10 Hz, 10 oscillations per second. To extend this range, the European Space Agency is building a large gravitational wave detector that will reach frequencies between 0.1 MHz and 1 Hz, called the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, or LISA. It will consist of three satellites located 2.5 million kilometers apart from each other that are programmed to be sent into space in the second half of the next decade. Diego Blas, researcher in the Department of Physics at the Universitat Autónoma de Barcelona and at the Institute of High Energy Physics, proposes an innovative idea to go even further and detect frequencies of the microhertz range, one millionth of a hertz, which will provide information about the primordial universe. Blas proposes detecting these very small frequencies with oscillations that can last days or months based on the deviations in the orbits of binary systems, such as the one formed by the Earth and the Moon, when they are intersected by gravitational waves. Thus, the laser measurements of the Moon's orbit can become a natural detector of these types of waves. These distances have been measured for decades at different observatories, thanks to reflectors installed on the Moon during the Apollo missions, and have an accuracy within the parameters representing the Earth-Moon distance of more than one part in a billion. Thanks to this precision and the fact that the lunar period lasts 28 days, the Earth-Moon system, according to Blass's studies, can be a means to detect gravitational waves in the microhertz band. In this investigation, with my collaborator Alex Jenkins of the University College London, what we have done is propose a new way to detect gravitational waves with unas características, a frequency in particular, that until the date were very difficult to detect. Eh, hasta ahora ha habido detecciones de ondas gravitacionales que se han basado en el hecho de que una onda gravitacional al atravesar eh, el espacio eh, genera una distorsión en las distancias eh, de los objetos que, bueno, a, a su paso, que va, que va encontrando a su paso. Nosotros hemos usado otro efecto, o que tiene que ver, pero que no es exactamente el mismo, y es que cuando tenemos un sistema que está en una órbita binaria, o sea, que está orbitando una, por ejemplo, una estrella en torno a otra, eh, esta onda gravitacional va a cambiar un poco esto, esta dinámica y va a alterar cómo eh, orbitan los objetos. ¿Qué ocurre? Que ya tenemos gran precisión para medir a veces esta dinámica orbital. En sistemas como en la Tierra-Luna, ¿no? donde podemos conocer este proceso con gran precisión, o incluso En el espacio hay unos eh, sistemas binarios de, de estrellas que se llaman pulsares, donde también esta dinámica se conoce con, con grandísima precisión. Researchers are considering binary pulsar systems, the beacons of the universe, as potential detectors of gravitational waves in the same microhertz band. As their orbits have periods ranging from several hours to years, depending on their system, the passage of gravitational waves with frequencies close to the microhertz affects them particularly. Esto nos ha permitido eh, llegar a concluir que el efecto de estas ondas se podría llegar a ver eh, en algunos de estos casos si fuera suficientemente intenso. 
Ahora estamos precisamente caracterizando como de intenso y podemos incluso quizás detectarlas. Es muy interesante también pensar que el tipo de ondas en este, con estos periodos, que son periodos muy grandes comparados con los que se han detectado, se pueden corresponder a, a eventos del universo primordial o a eventos de grandes agujeros negros en el centro de las galaxias que todavía no se han visto. And the race to broaden the spectrum of gravitational wave detection continues. Europe launches a major collaborative project to build the first third generation observatory, the Einstein Telescope, designed to greatly expand the spectrum of gravitational waves that can be detected from Earth. The preparatory phase will be led by the Institute of High Energy Physics, located on the UAB campus, a challenge for the future that promises to resolve unanswered questions about the origins of the universe.